As the fourth industrial revolution progresses, the introduction of IoT is increasing in all industries. In the IoT era, where the information of things is digitized, the HMI is becoming more important as the interface which connects the digitized world with humans. Since IoT applicable fields are diverse and the functions and performance required for each field are different, HMI must be customized to each user's needs so as to enable effective communication between humans and machines. When developing HMI using a graphical user interface, the complicated development process of integrating the projects individually developed for LCD adjustment and GUI into the actual application is a factor in delaying market adaptation. To achieve a quick time to market, a seamless development environment is required to reduce development time. QE for Display from Renesis is the plugin for E Squared Studio IDE for display applications. Along with display control, it also integrates the GUI drawing tool MWIN, which enables seamless LCD adjustment and GUI creation. It makes it easy to customize diverse GUIs and contributes to the realization of a quick time to market. Now let me introduce the actual GUI development procedure by using QE for display. Project setting, LCD adjustment and drawing graphics by following the workflow guide. Using just these three steps, it is possible to develop a GUI which suits various needs. First, open E Squared Studio IDE and create a new project. After defining the project name, select the board to use. If the board information file does not exist, click the link to download the file. When the target board is selected, the target device is also automatically selected. In order to use a user-specific board, please select Custom as the target board. Make sure the Create Hardware Debug configuration is checked and select E2 Lite RX. Then select Use Smart Configurator and click Finish to complete the project generation and open the Smart Configurator. Next, set the clock according to the board you wish to use. Click the Clock tab of the Smart Configurator and configure the clock settings. Here, the maximum frequency is set as an example. The PLL operating frequency is the clock source for the LCD panel. Then, set the heap size for the MWIN FIT module, which is used to create the GUI. Click the Components tab, select RBSP from the components and set the heap size to the required size. Then, start QE for display and proceed with the LCD adjustment according to the workflow. Select the target project in preparation of the workflow. Confirm the LCD maker and model name are correct and select Use MWIN under Selecting the GUI Drawing Tool. Select the Components tab and import the Graphics LCD Controller module if Graphics LCD Controller module is not displayed in the list of components, 
click Download More Software Components and then download RX Family Graphic LCD Controller Module in the Fit Module Download dialog box. If the board was already selected when creating the project, the pins used by the Graphics LCD Controller Module are also set automatically. Once you click the Generate Code button to generate the code, installing the LCD controller will be changed to Added State. Next, adjust the LCD display. The setting values can be changed using the TCON LCD setting, timing adjustment and graphic layer setting buttons. For custom board, configure and adjust the LCD setting here by clicking on Start Display Adjustment button. Adjustment is possible while checking the display status on the actual LCD. If there are any errors, an error mark will be displayed. The error value is displayed in red and a description of how to eliminate the error will be displayed by hovering the mouse cursor over the erroneous value. You can modify the value accordingly by following this description. Click the Generate File button to output a header file that reflects the result of the LCD adjustment. The Include Path to the generated header file is also added automatically. Next, create a GUI. Select the Components tab of the Smart Configurator and import the Graphic Library with Graphical User Interface. If Graphics Library with Graphical User Interface is not displayed in the list of components, click Download More Software Components and then download RX Family MWIN Module in the Fit Module Download dialog box. If the components dependent on the added component have not been imported, or the version is different, an error or warning will occur, so you must add the required component. Next, set the I2C channel used by the GUI drawing tool MWIN. I2C is used for touch panel control of the LCD panel. Select RSCI IIC RX from the component and change the setting of the channel to be used to Supported according to the selected board. If the board was selected when creating the project, the pins for use with the channel is set automatically. Once you click the Generate Code button to generate the code, installing the GUI Drawing Tool driver will be changed to the Added state. Then create the initial settings for the GUI Drawing Tool. Click the Info Setting button to open the MWIN Settings dialog box and confirm that the values are set according to the board information selected in the project. If the frame buffer address is a duplicate of the section address, you need to change the section address. Click the Generate File button to output a header file that reflects the initial settings of the GUI drawing tool. The Include Path to the Output header file is also added automatically. Next, install the app wizard used to create the GUI. Click the Settings button to open the App Wizard Settings dialog box and click the Installing App Wizard button to install. Launch App Wizard and create a GUI. Here is an example of a GUI in which the screen changes according to the input button and the volume number changes using the rotary switch. After adding the screen, select the part and place it on the screen to define the action. Here, select the button and set the action that it will swap to another screen when pressed. Select Button from the Add Object window and set the image of the button being pressed or unpressed in the Properties window. 
adjust the position and size of the selected button in the Properties window. Set the action of the button operation in the Interaction window. You can easily create a GUI by setting other parts in the same way. After creating the GUI, select Export and Save from the File menu of AppWizard. Click the Copy to the Clipboard button in the Show Sample Code dialog box and embed the copied code into the main function. Once the project is built, the build of the code that reflects the generated GUI operation is complete. Click the Debugger tab of Debug Configuration. Select the Connection Settings tab. Change the clock setting according to the board. Set the connection with the target board to Fine and set the power supply setting. Then click the Debug button to connect to the target. After the load module download is completed, click the Resume button to execute the program. In this way, it is possible to easily develop an HMI that implements a high-definition, high-quality GUI. For more information, please download the application note from the Renaissance website.